XLR. We don't just train, we build careers. Now we are going to go ahead and learn how we can create a simple dashboard using the sample financials data which is a built-in data set in the Power BI. Now here is a new Power BI report that I have created and what I am going to do is by going to the help section. So here in the help section we will be able to get the examples wherein we have the sample data and in sample data when I click on the load sample data it allows me to open the financials data set which is a built in data set in Power BI. So if I just click on the sheet the financial sheet and click on load it will automatically load the same in the Power BI uh, desktop version and uh, if at all I want to make any kind of transformations I can always click on the transform data and that would open a power query window which will help us to make the modifications. But for now we are not going to make any modifications. So I have already loaded the data set we will just go ahead and learn how to use it. So this is the data set I have loaded and it has already shown all the data types of the different variables which we can utilize here on our dashboard. Let's also think of a theme uh, for, a, for a color. Suppose if I want to create my entire report based on a certain color theme, we may have to plan that in advance so that all the visuals follow the similar format. So let's try to keep a color combination like maybe orange and green. So let's do the same. We will use orange, green and maybe blue in all of our visuals. So let's get started and create our dashboard. The first thing I would like to study here is the sales as per the, pro, uh, as per the uh, segment, as per the country, as per date and as per the product. So let's try to create a visual for the same. The first thing I would like to show is by country. So for the country I can perhaps create a clustered bar chart. So here is my clustered bar chart in which I select the country and I select sales. So since I decided to use the orange and green predominantly and sometimes the shade of blue as well, we may want to focus on the same here and what we can do here is. Add in the date, the date hierarchy by year in legend. So now we can see that it is showing the sale for every country year wise. Now I would like to go to the format visual. Let's try to keep a data label and let's start with the title. So we'll go to the general, under general we have title. Let's keep a green color. So let's go to more colors and select the green. So my font is in the orange color. And I can even give a background of a light orange color. So maybe I would like to change this. Yeah, so this looks better. And next I would like to change the color of the bar. So the color of the bar that I would like to keep is an orange and green. So let's go to visual and here for the bars for 2020, 2013 I will keep the orange color and for 2014 I would like to keep the green color. Yes, so this is the chart that I have created. Also, we would like to change the headers. So we will go to the x axis and keep the values in green. Same is with the y axis. Since green is not quite visible, I think an orange color would be better will use the orange.
So we need not have to format the entire visual every time we build a new one. We can directly copy the format using the format painter uh, option which is available in the home tab. So let's try to create a proper format so that we need not have to go back into it. So let's also change the color here, make it bold and that's ready. Now coming to the data labels, we might want to change the color here as well. So here is our visual. Now coming to the label of sum of sales and country, let us go back to x axis, the title has to be in orange. Right. So here we have built our data visual and uh, the only thing we need to maybe change here is the year, I mean the legend. So let us again select the visual and under that I would like to turn off the legend or maybe turn off the title of the legend. So we do not need the title, we only want to show the legend this way and I would like to show it on the center right like this. So let us also add an effect of shadow so that it shows like a uplifted tile. Right. Now we will add a shape, we will insert a shape in which we will be showing the title. Okay, now let us try to modify the shape. So I would like to show a rounded rectangle, rounded corners, we can increase the percentage of the rounded corners. Also coming to rotation, we do not want to rotate this, so let us try to avoid it. Style, in style we have the color, let us keep a light color which matches the color of the uh, background of each visual and we can keep a border right. Also we can go ahead and uh, add the text. So this is a sales dashboard. We will increase the size of the font. And use the color orange. So this is created. Now here as well I would like to make some changes. Maybe add a divider. So once I have kept the colors constant, it becomes quite becomes quite easier for me to use those colors and need not have to hunt for them in the color bar. So this is perfect. Right. Now what we can do is we can create another visual and this time I would like to show the sales by month. And that too I would like to show the months of year 2013 and 14 separately. So for this I will I will be using the line chart. So here is my line chart. Let us align the visual with the header. Now in this line chart I will add the year, the month and sales. 
So, we can see that it is showing the year 2013 and 2014 as a single line. But I can also show this in two different lines where in legend I would like to add the year. Now you can see that it is showing a different line for uh, both the years. So we are showing the sum of sales by uh, year 2013 and 2014. Right. So, if need be, what we could also do is we can add the year, the September, October, November, December for 2013 in the same level as we have the 2014 data. And for that, here in my secondary y axis, I can also add the profit. So now given that we have built the line chart which shows the sales across the time period of 2013 and 2014, what I will be doing is I will just try to copy this format by selecting the visual, I am copying the format by using the format painter and I will apply this on this chart. So now you can see that exactly the same color theme, so we can also make few more changes like add a boundary. So, here I would like to add, yes, so we have the visual border. Let us add a visual border as well. Right, now we are going to copy this format. So, here we have the visual border. Now, we will also study the sales based on the segment and based on the product. So, based on the segment, I would like to use the, uh, the pie chart. So, I will add a pie chart here. In pie chart, I will use the segment and the sales and here, here is what we have. Now, I would like to modify this pie chart because the colors do not seem to match our theme. So, we will change the colors as per our requirement. Firstly, let us try to add the default colors. So, what we can do now is go ahead and change the colors. So, we will go to the format visual, we will go to slices and here let us try to take some of the colors of green. So, I will take the lightest green slightly darker one. Even darker. Here we can take orange, and slightly darker orange. Right. So, what we are trying to show is the lightest green is basically the highest contribution and as we go downward to the lower contributions, it is changing the color to either orange or red. So, it is still aligned with our color theme. So, this is how we can change the colors and it can match with the theme. So, I have now shown the sales by year and month. So, I could have also changed this to a table, but always whenever we have the uh, time component, we typically use the line chart. So, we can do that here. And if I want to study the year 2013 and 2014 separately, then I can also add a legend or rather a slicer which can help me to switch between the different uh, years. 
So for now I will leave it as it is and now I will add my third visual. Let us say a small table. Okay. So this time instead of segment I would like to add product and I would like to show product by sales. Maybe change it to a donut chart. So this is a donut chart. We will go ahead and apply the formatting. and change the colors as well. So format the visual. Right. So, this, these are the colors I have assigned which pretty much matches to the theme and now our dashboard is ready. XLR, we don't just train, we build careers.